I'm still sleeping upright in the living room. I'm upright now 24 hours a day. And it's hell. It's hard on the body to never lay down. I can't breathe laying down. I can't breathe in the chest laying down. I can't breathe in from the throat laying down. Um, <laughs> having this really bad symptom. I'll talk about it later and it's hard to concentrate. Um, I had two hours of sleep last night. And I thought, this is it. I could barely... I. I can barely feel my hands and feet. The neuropathy is so bad. Um, I had to walk to the bank. I woke up, walked to the bank. I'm struggling breathing, it, and it's like I'm having tunnel vision. It's like my most of my peripheral vision's gone, and I'm thinking, this is it. This is... This is the day I lose my mind. I'm, uh, my brain is breaking. Um, and th this, this symptom, this feeling of something being shoved up my chest, like air is blowing up in there and I have no room to breathe. I finally discovered it is air. You know, I've been in this body for decades. I've never, ever had this before. And it's not gas in the gut, in the belly, in the bowel, in the, you know. It's not air in the gut. It is in the stomach and trapped in, and and growing. It, the air getting bigger and bigger in the stomach and not going down. It's happening right now. It was happening the minute I woke up. And um, it's been happening since this benzo injury. Or I wonder, maybe from CPAP, people get air trapped. But something's wrong, like it's getting stuck in here. It's not going down the down the through the intestines and coming out as gas. It's it's growing in like the air will grow and grow and I'll eat and it'll get bigger. But it's happening even when I just wake up. And it's agitating. It makes me panic. Honestly, it makes me suicidal. It makes me irrational. It makes me crazy. It makes me not give a you know what about anything. I'm I'm it makes me panic. And, uh, I thought, oh, I'm going to phone, I'm going to phone this maid doctor, see why he hasn't called. They were supposed to call all last week. They didn't call. I thought, no, I better not because I'm in fight or flight and this, this is growing and I'm panicking and, um, I thought, man, you know what? This is, this, it's all over. It's all over. Two hours of sleep. Can barely feel my hands and feet. Tunnel vision. Struggling to breathe. I'm staggering down the street. I'm ready to call this doctor and just blast him. I thought it's all over. You know what? They're they're just gonna come and I don't even know what's gonna happen here, right? really scary times and um and then at seven o'clock i normally never lay down for a nap i can't lay down i, nor I normally don't take a nap because i can't fall asleep i'm in fight or flight and uh i managed to fall asleep at around seven o'clock tonight and um i've been up for two and a half hours i had um a bit more than a half hour of sleep. I was dreaming. I was having REM sleep. I feel like I've had, I, I feel like I've had a couple, like I've swallowed a couple of benzodiazepines. I feel sedated. I feel, I feel like I've had a couple of drinks. I feel calm. I feel out of fight or flight, but this is growing again. This, this is, 
getting the air in here is getting bigger. I don't know what this is all about. For some reason, I mean, we all have gas, right? And for whatever reason, food we eat or swallowing air or whatever, and everyone passes gas, right? I've never had this problem all my life. It's trapped up high in the chest, not in the gut, and it doesn't go out the other end, and it doesn't come up. If I do weird things, like like uh, sometimes I can untrap the air. Like if I bend down, if I stand up and bend over, and let's say I pretend I've dropped a bag of marbles and I'm picking up 25 marbles in different directions, I'm bent over and doing different odd movements, I can get some of it out. So it is trapped air but it's almost impossible to get out. It's not coming out. It's not coming up. It's not coming the other way. So for some reason it's trapped in there. I don't know why. I'm, pff, what do you do? What do you take? Nothing works. Tums don't work. Nothing helps. Uh, Gas X helps a tiny bit, but it doesn't really do its thing. I think it breaks up. I read, I re did some reading up on it. I think it breaks up the big air bubbles to be smaller bubbles. I think it helps a bit, but it's hard to breathe. It's hard. It, it's a sense of, it's in a place where it shouldn't be. And, and, and at times I have a hiatal hernia, so it's pushing up. I, I am talking around the air sometimes. Sometimes I'm talking and there's air, like there's something wrong. Something's not normal. But anyways, so yeah, I had a bit of REM sleep. I feel lovely. I feel sedated. I feel, I feel other than this is just pushing me over the edge. This is so agitating. It causes panic. It causes, causes me to have thoughts like, you know, just fuck it fuck everything. I'm just done. I'm just done. It, it makes me want to, it, it makes me rational. I don't know. Cause it's out of my control. It's there. I mean, if you had air blowing up anywhere inside you and you have no control, like this is an unusual thing. It's agitating. It's I can't even describe why it causes anger and anxiety. It's not supposed to be there. It'd be different if it's in your belly or your gut and you go, okay, I must have gas or something. No, this is strange. It's just something shoving up your, you know, your heart or your lungs or your stomach or I don't know. Anyways, um, God. I don't know. Things are escalating here. I'm I'm financially destroyed. I can't I can't financially I can't do this. My family just blows my mind. Just there's no way I can get any of them to help in any way shape or form. Never seen anything like this and people think What's wrong with your family? Why aren't they responding? Every doctor has said, where's your family? What's wrong with your family? How do you explain it? There's no way. They can't be a family. They can't be supportive. They can't be loving. I just watched the Jordan Peterson video. Um, he, he said a few sentences. I should, I should do a, Oh, gee, I don't even know if I can find it. There's like two or three sentences. You're in this family and every conversation, everything someone says, they have an agenda. Whether it's it's to fit in with their delusional, with their delusion, their delusion of a miserable world or their delusion that the world is a happy place and everything's fine and, and good and... Uh, he was trying to articulate what it's like to be, what a nightmare it's like to be in a family where every conversation, someone has an agenda. 
they'll twist the conversation to uh to to their agenda whatever that agenda agenda is it's just i'm going to end up losing my life here and i've been screaming at begging and screaming my family to my family for years and they won't respond they're all delusional this is making me crazy this is starting i was feeling great I was feeling so calm and everything. This is making me rational. I'm going to try to go to the drugstore and buy some gas X, but I don't know how, I mean, how much of that can you take? Uh, you know, can you take that regularly? I don't know.